It's been a year of bizarre weather events, and we're right in the middle of another one. Two-thirds of the country, more than two-thirds of the country, will be from 90 to 100 degrees today. That's 20 degrees above normal in a lot of locations. Remember, we are two weeks before summer. It's a summer-like spring scorcher. Over two dozen record temperatures toppled on Tuesday. Triple digits from Minneapolis at 103 to Jackson, Mississippi at 100. And Laredo, Texas, a sweltering 107 degrees, the hottest place in the country. Also in Texas, drought plus extreme heat is forcing some areas to ban fireworks and barbecues. And look at this road in Minneapolis, buckling under the excessive heat. Take a look at that temperature here in St. Paul. We haven't seen numbers like this in years. In Pennsylvania, it's so hot that classes in Easton area schools will be dismissed early all week. Anyone working outside is at risk. And if you think it's hot, imagine how it feels for police who have to wear heavy bulletproof vests. In Woodstock, Georgia, cops are beating the heat by hooking hoses through their vest to their car's air conditioning. It's called a cool cop. When you get in a vehicle and put it into your vest, it cools you off, puts you in a better state of mind. Northern cities like Chicago could see their highest temperature since 2006. Just a few months ago, we were buried knee-deep in their historic blizzard. This morning, a much different picture.